Hi Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and in this reading we are going to find out who finds you attractive lately and why. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 24th of April 2023, time here in Bali, Indonesia is 9.47 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you were to find a guide to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Who finds them to be attractive lately and why? Sorry, <laughs> something kind of bit me. Justice in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, maybe you do things out of the norm. That's one one thing I'm seeing here. Sometimes, you know, the justice can indicate you know following the rules. Maybe for some of you, you're a rule breaker. <laughs> Or this person could be attracted to how unconventional you are, how you don't do things the same way as everybody else. And perhaps recently you have done something that has, uh, there's a little bit either mischievous or you may have broken certain rules. Um, I don't know, for some, I don't know, they, this person finds it to be attractive, okay? This person could be a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. It feels like, you know, certain flaws. So for some people, it might be a flaw. But for this person, it's not a flaw. It's actually something very attractive. So this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody like you are, Gemini, Libra, Chris, can be any sign. So you got the lovers right here. So you are, this is a very attractive card as well. So this person is very attractive attracted to you um you know these two people are naked it could be the way your body looks um the way your body looks when you're naked <laughs> okay so i feel like this person most likely loves you or has been intimate with you before five of wands here is in love first and we've got the knight of swords Sometimes you get so bent out of shape when you get so angry. I hope, again, this makes sense. You get so angry and you get so bent out of shape whenever you have certain disagreement with this person that they find that to be attractive. <laughs> so it, it's like, it's kind of weird. It's kind of twisted, but yeah whenever you get angry they think it's attractive okay and we've got the knight of cups here in reverse six of wands here in reverse it's like you demand for some sort of an attention because right next to it is the six of wands in reverse so this person may find you to be attractive because you you know your rights you demand respect you demand attention yeah it's like these things that other people may find it to be a bit too aggressive or rude. But no, this person finds it to be very attractive. Okay. And then we've got, and the Knight of Swords also somebody very straightforward, very honest, very blunt. Something, something that is very blunt or honest about you that this person finds to be very attractive as well. Okay. Like you demand to be loved. To be respected, to be cared, yeah, to be cared for. Seven of Cups here in my first, Five of Swords in my first, got the Wheel of Fortune in my first. <laughs> I don't know why there's something a little bit annoying about you that they actually like, okay? It's like it could be a broken record, right? Wheel of Fortune in my first. Either you're a bit naggy or you repeat something. Something or it could be anything, but something that you repeat 
a lot okay something you that you always repeat it could be a certain quirk or something you you say um your your behavior your demeanor it could be something as simple as just flipping your hair or touching your face um the way you stand the way you sit the way you talk it could be a certain word that you always use because again will of fortune and reverse are going on and on so it's like a something that is your signature okay to some people it could be annoying not all okay i'm not saying you're annoying i'm also i'm actually a virgo libra cusp so um also could be an air sign <laughs> so far i'm also I, I could also be an air sign okay virgo libra cusp so anyway son of cups and one first foul swords and one first yeah you're you're uniquely you because of these little signature these little traits that you have that you constantly repeat again it can be the way you sit the way you stand the way you talk or a word that you always use okay um that is like it makes it you maybe for some of you you have a certain word that you've personalized that's your word <laughs> nobody or nobody or a word that nobody says it like that okay so again hope that makes sense to you i'm gonna pull out more cards here page of pentacles yeah so you're actually really kind yeah page of pentacles this person could be attracted to some good advice that you give or that how kind you are or maybe also attracted to how giving you are okay maybe you've given this person something okay that they find it to be kind of cute yeah page is young so it's cute so it could be certain things about you that seems to be very cute and seems kind of innocent something innocent about you okay or you could just have these looks of features that seems to be i don't know something about cute something about youthful and for some of you may have a child and they may find that to be attractive in some weird twisted way okay that's just for some of you we've got the moon here in our first justice in our first the chariot here in our first <laughs> feels like stop like you stop everything to do this thing for this person okay you stop everything even if it means breaking the law doing something that is wrong you it's like ride and die kind of a thing like they are attracted to how you would either again do something wrong for them break the rules for them for this person or just for yourself okay it doesn't really matter again the moon here in reverse indicates how sincere you are right how honest you are how open you are there is um it's like there's no mystery about you you're so open so honest so blunt and whatever you want you say it <laughs> you you're not gonna hide it so this person finds it to be very very attractive especially these qualities they see it to be qualities okay but i can see that some people don't won't actually be too fond of it but they are okay so well, let's see just a little bit more yeah king of swords in first the death in first the chair in first you may you may be a survivor some of you may have been through a lot in your life um this energy of you being able to trust uh, how do you say it's almost like you have some trust issues but also you're open to trusting this person this person could be younger than you are could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, Justice in Reverse, could be married or separated or divorced, okay? Or may have had, or may have a job that is, if it's not about marriage, it could be 
this person who has a really important job. Mm. Important job that could have something to do with rules, law, legalities, okay? That's just for some of you. But anyway, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius is your reading. And I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel, okay? Um, I'm going to leave it on the end screen here. You can click on it. It takes you to my second channel. Or I think you, it will, you will subscribe right away. I'm not sure. Um, I've never, I've never um, watched my own video. We're not supposed to, but so I think that's how it works. Okay, but anyway, take care, Jamal Libra Chris. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Bye.